What's going on you guys, Claire? Welcome back to the channel of CoCommerce and welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. In this video specifically, we're gonna give you a high level overview of the icons uh, components that we can use inside of Material UI. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if, you, if you haven't installed React, I'm using Vue.js. You can roll back to the first part of the video in this series. I show you how to install Vue.js and Material UI. Very, very simple, just a couple of lines, okay? So let's go ahead and inside our data display here, it's just a folder that I have. I'm gonna create a new file called iconsexample.jsx. REFCE is just a snippets extension I'm using to generate a functional component. And then we'll have our, we'll say icons example, make sure that auto imports if it didn't already. And go ahead and start your server, npm run dev, if you're using V, you can use any type of React uh, library, uh, Next.js, V, whatever. I'm just using Vue.js, incredibly quick. So icons example, you can see we have our text here on the screen. So. Um, Lots of different ways you can just use icons. So aside from installing your Material UI project, you also need to install uh, Material icons, which you probably have already done if you've been following this series at all. Uh, if it's not working though, just npm i or install at mui slash icons dash material. So a couple different ways we can import icons. Um, as you can see here, you can import them one by one, or you can kind of condense them down into one line. How you do it just kind of depends on uh, how much time you want to sort through, different depending on if you're like de deving out your project, if you're kind of adding them in one by one. I typically tend to do it this way, uh, the messier way. But as um, later on when I'm cleaning things up, I'll, I'll go back and, and just kind of organize it. But um, that's that's how I do it. So let's kind of scroll down. So this is just giving different variables or different variants of icons that, that you can use. Uh, for example, we'll go ahead and add in this one here. I'll say access alarm icon. I just imported that by default. I'll access alarm icon. Um, let's go ahead and refresh. You can see we have an icon on the screen. So that's how we can very easily display uh, an icon on the screen here. Let's scroll down and see. F SVG icons, if you don't want to do it this way, you can also use this SVG icon. Some are not gonna be available in material icons you can see here. Um, but again, I don't know why you'd usually wanna do it this way. It probably seems like extra work. We've go ahead and paste that in. You can see it works. Let's see, we'll refresh. We're getting an error likely. Let's see here. SVG icon is not defined. So we just need to show our source code. We'll import this here. That should take care of the errors. Let's see, we'll get refresh. All right, there you have it. So that looks pretty cool. Again, I don't know why you'd wanna do it that way. Perhaps you might have access to some more icons from looks like hero icons. Uh, so you can just go ahead and paste in that path from hero icons. Let's see, you can change the color with just the color property here. Um, for example, we'll change the color on this alarm icon. Uh, we'll say color primary. Go ahead and save. See, it's that blue. If you want to change this to secondary, I believe that's a purple color. So you save, you can see that's a purple color. So that's pretty cool. You can also add in some custom coloring there with the sizing property. So for example, change this. We'll say SX, open up our double curly brackets, color pink, and then just add in in your array here, 500. Or the, the higher you go, we need to import this color as well. I forgot we need to do that. So we'll just import pink here. You can do the same thing, blue, red, etc. So you can have it. We can see our pink icon there. Um, the lower you go, I'm gonna change this to red so it's a little bit easier to see. And we'll change this to red. So uh, the lower you go on the color, as far as the number there, the lighter it actually gets. You can actually see it almost looks like uh, an orange. We refresh, get rid of that error. Uh, and then of course, the higher you go, the, the darker it gets. Okay, so we'll change it to 800. You can see it's actually getting darker to almost like a, like a brown. So that's how we can change uh, the color shade in there. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, we can change the sizing property. We'll use this home icon. I'm gonna go ahead and 
Let's see here. Use his home icon. Um, I don't want to import the SVG. I think that's kind of a pain. We'll paste that in there. Home icon. Let's see if we can install import or that's home service. Ah, that's fine. We'll use that one. So home service there. Cool. We can also change, like I said, we can change the sizing property. So font size by default, small. If we want to change this to large, changes the icon size. We can also change it dynamically with the sizing property. So if we just change this SX, open up our curly brackets, we can just say font size. Um, if you want to say 20 in there, we should see kind of a small icon. Changes to 60, gets quite a bit bigger. So that's how we can change in some uh, using the font size. <clears throat> We can also, uh, opposed to just using these two icons, if you want to see a whole list of the icons, we'll go up here to search, just type in icons, click that one right there. If you scroll down a bit, you can actually see all of these icons that you have access to. And um, all the same, you can just add in different properties, rounded, outlined, filled, et cetera. Um, and that's how we can use kind of like different different icons. For this one, for example, this add moderator icon, like the shield, like a little protection thing. That's what I'm getting out of it at least. We can go ahead and import this one here. And we'll see. Copy this down. And what was that called? This add moderator icon. So lots of cool icons you can use in here. Um, it's kind of showing you this is, if you want to cruise through here and, and have a look at all the icons, there's quite a few you can use here quite a few you can use. So, all right, you guys, I hope you got some value out of this one. This is an icons example in uh, material UI. Next up, we're going to be going over the list example.